Who goes there? Oh, it's another tourist. You didn't hear any of that, did you? No? Good. Why don't you step up here and jump into this portal? I promise you won't regret it. Oh my gosh. What the f***? Anyway, all jokes aside, I actually am starting a new Iron Man series. I know it's kind of crazy to play two Iron Man profiles, but I've decided to bite the bullet. I'm playing on Coconut, so this is going to be pretty fun. I have some ideas for how to start this series, and unfortunately one of that ideas is talking to the villagers. I might just be as surprised as you that I'm starting an Iron Man profile, but I figured it'd be fun, and I mean, I can't really just make guides forever. I'm going to end up running out of things to do, so I decided to make an Iron Man profile. And let's be honest who plays normal profile and who plays stranded stranded is pretty cool but if you play normal profile then you need to hop on this iron man grind here we go talk to jamie get the rogue sword but yeah i have pretty big plans for this profile being that the end update came out pretty recently i'm going to be progressing in a very uh different way so you could say where is this last villager there we go finally found liam he's all the way over here anyway we've got a lot of coins sitting here 204 coins i think we better store that in the bank hello banker you're looking very handsome today let me store my coins all right so the first thing that i'm gonna do on this profile is grab the grandma wolf pet now to do this i'm gonna have to hit combat one this means fighting these guys for a little bit dying to a zombie villager wow and there we go, combat one. Now we can head over to the spiders then and grab the grandma wolf pet up there. Guys, Thank you. New, uh, now that we got the grandma wolf pet, really we can head over to the archaeologist and but grab the archaeologist compass. And that is our first accessory of the profile. Obviously, we don't have a bag yet. Now that we have our grandma wolf equipped, we can start farming wheat and actually getting taming levels. So I made this Harvesting 5 book and I didn't realize that it took 23 levels to apply. So we're gonna have to hold out on this book there we go, our first minion. So now that we made it to the barn, we could grab a absolute plethora of collections and minions. Now finally, after slaughtering helpless farm animals for an eternity, I can make three new minions. Pig minion, the cow minion, and the chicken minion. And just like that, we unlocked our sixth minion slot. I wasn't even farming 10, so I couldn't even know that there was a wheat contest. Apparently I participated in one. And just like that, we have a tier 3 potato minion. And now it's time for carrot. Boom, boom, and there we go. Now we can put these up with the wheat minion. And now we're off to the desert settlement. There's our cactus minion. There's our sugarcane minion. There we go. Now I'm going to skip out on the rabbit minion for now because they're just so annoying to kill and they have so much HP. But I will grab the sheep minion. And our last sheep. Craft up this wooden sword. Boom. And there are two more minions that I can make in the desert settlement. And those are the sand and mushroom minion. I will make the mushroom minion, but I'm not going to make the sand minion because I'm going to come back to it later. There we go. Look at that. Now our minion collection is really coming along. So we have a little bit of cash now. Put that right in the bank. And the stack of white wool I have, I am going to give to the carpenter here. And now it is time to take on the deep caverns. Are you guys ready? And there we go. We have reached mining one. Head over to the gold mine and we can get the miner's pickaxe. Lazy miner's pickaxe. This guy's pickaxe will allow us to have the enchant called smelting touch, which basically just auto smelts all the ores you mine. And there it is. Boom. Now I got to talk to Rusty and now reach mining level five. So now is the point where I get into sand a little bit. Efficiency 2 on my golden shovel. And now that I hit enchanting 2, I could also put harvesting 5 on my rookie hoe. Oh, I forgot to grab the pumpkin and melon minions. Yeah, I'll get those later. Now we have arrived at the desert settlement, and it is time to farm mining levels. As you can see, early game, this is by far the best way to get mining levels. This also unlocks collection plus a minion craft, which is pretty cool. And early game mining fortune is pretty nice. You could also use this as a money making method. I prefer to farm wheat, but I mean, if you want to just mine sand, you could do that as well. Now we could craft multiple tiers of the sand minion. There's four minion slots right there. Carpentry one. And at carpentry three, we can unlock quick craft, which is going to be very nice. This is also great for some early skyblock XP because I would like to unlock things. And just like that, we have a tier five sand minion. Carpentry two. And now we're nine away from our eighth slot. Carpentry three. So now we have quick craft and we also have a tier six sand minion. 
And there we go, mining 12. So I'm gonna stop there. Uh, I could get a tier seven, but I'm pretty far off and I just don't feel like it. And now because of that, we also somehow managed to claw our way up to 10,000 coins, which is pretty cool. Now we can grab the undead sword, which is gonna be our main sword against the mobs in the deep caverns. And I'll just take basically whatever reforge he gives me. That's amazing. Now because we grabbed the Grandma Wolf so early, we are already taming 7, which has given us an additional 35 Skyblock XP. So that's pretty cool. And now we have made it to the Deep Caverns. So I talked to the lift operator, and now I am just going to speed through this entire place because I don't feel like mining without a diamond pickaxe. And I guess while we're here, we could grab the free compactor that we get. I believe this guy's around here. Yep, here you go. Free compactor. Don't kill me, please. Now over here. Oh, no. Okay, I might die. I don't know how I'll get through that guy, so I'll go this way, I guess. Um, let me through. Thank you. Now we go down here, and we made it to diamonds. Perfect. We can go back to hub now, grab a new pickaxe, and mine a few diamonds. I'm also refusing to use portals and cakes because HS Fearless doesn't use them, and I want to be cool like him. One diamond. And that's three diamonds. Might as well grab some levels while I'm here. I'd like to get 30 levels, but honestly, I doubt that would happen. And now I'm dead. And now I have a diamond pickaxe, and I could sell this promising pickaxe to the NPC. Smelting touch on the diamond pickaxe. And now it is time to start grinding lapis. I'm thinking I'll get lapis armor after I already have unlocked the dwarven mines. I know it seems kind of backwards, but I think it's a good idea. In the dwarven mines, I could pretty easily get full glacite armor without too much gear. And once I have full glacite armor, it'll make grinding lapis zombies much easier. I will still want the lapis armor for additional XP because mining is going to be the best way that I can get XP, but getting lapis armor early game is kind of pointless. Like, it's good, but I'd rather get Glacite first, then get lapis. Rushing the Dwarven Mines immediately, see what server you do. It also helps me with um, other ores because the carts there are much better than the deep caverns. And we're finally back. Almost there to the enchanted lapis recipe. Because I'm an idiot, I threw out my leather and I forgot that I had to make an enchanting table on my island. So I'm gonna have to farm some more cows to get that leather back. Oh, and if you're still watching, let me know if that intro was weird or cringe or boring or actually entertaining because I could do more stuff like that in the future. I mean, it's possible. But there we go. I unlocked the zombie minion. I can't craft it yet though. Not enough rotten flesh. There we go. Perfect timing. Now, I need 30 of this stuff, so yeah. I've got 12 and a half. I'm almost halfway. I should probably put Fortune 3 on my pick, but I would have to make an entire enchanting table on my island, and I am just way too lazy to do that. I've been using community posts to uh, communicate with you guys a little bit better, but I think I'm going to start a Discord server. So if I do, uh, that link will be in the description. And here's a little fun fact of trivia. I actually tried to do an Iron Man series on the this same channel and it didn't go very well. I uploaded three videos and they got a combined total of two views. Number so 15. I decided to stop that. And that uh, Iron Man series that I was uploading ended up being my main Iron Man profile that I have like almost 2000 hours on. Granted, a lot of it is AFK time, but definitely not most of it. All right, well, I'm well past the halfway mark on Lapis. I'm getting kind of tired of mining it, but the extra fortune from mining 12 is definitely helping. I also plan on um, delaying dungeons as long as I can on this profile because it is just so expensive. So I want to set up a good money-making method before I get into it because they are buffing farming with the new farming update. They're adding farming armor uh, basically with the garden, but uh, it is not going to be better than mining. And I think it's possible I could get a good mining setup before that farming update comes out. I think I'm just going to avoid farming and hey, look at that. Let's go. RNG carried. That's actually great that we dropped one already because I haven't even started grinding for them. But as far as early game Iron Man goes, the meta has completely changed. The meta is now to try to rush the end. Maybe not rush, but it is definitely, you want to be in the end as soon as you can. End armor as well as the end like equipment is very good and very easy to get and also end nodes are an amazing money making method especially with the endermites so i'm planning on doing that for iron man like early and mid game the two most important places are the end and the dwarven mines i would argue the dwarven mines are more important it's also looking like i'm gonna hit a thousand subscribers pretty soon uh genuinely like i can't believe it i've never i used to upload shorts and those those actually did well uh i got 
a few thousand subscribers, but I never would have thought I got I would get subscribers off of videos. Genuinely, I still can't believe that my videos get views, but thank you guys so much. There we go. 30 lapis. Now I start the long process of giving it to Reese and then switching lobbies and then giving it to Reese. Then switching lobbies. And I gotta give it to him again, then switch lobbies. Give it to him again, then switch lobbies. Give it to Reese and switch lobbies. City and Sanctuary discovered. I'd rather not die in here. Reese, here you go. There's 10. And because I'm not using portals, I'm gonna walk the entire way. I'm also gonna put efficiency 5 on this. Interestingly enough, I still haven't unlocked auto pickup, so things are still being dropped on the ground. I feel like having it be unlocked at level 6 is kind of bad. Kind of takes a long time. And now the final journey back. So I just remembered my strategy kind of revolves entirely around end nodes and end nodes drop experience bottles which kind of defeats the point of lapis armor but i think i'm still gonna probably just get the full set and now we are heart of the mountain one and we have unlocked the dwarven mines look at that we made it into the most important place for early game and mid game so the fetcher's item today is a compass so i'm gonna have to go back up to the pigman's den grab a little bit of redstone go to the dwarven mines craft a compass and now i should be able to get a free 20k and a free thousand mithril powder. Now the question is, how do I get up there? Think I could just go this way? Yeah, here we go. All right, Fetcher. There you go. Free 20k. I could also head over to the Puzzler to get another thousand mithril powder and talk to the kings to be one out of seven on my king talisman. And the kings reset in 10 seconds, which is very unlucky. So I'm gonna miss one. If I get there in like two seconds, no. Oh wait, no, no, I'm stupid. It's noon, it's on midnight. King Grandan, uh, mining event and mithril ore. Now we head over to the puzzler, click on him, and I'm using Badline Client so I can just see which one it highlights. And there's another 3000 mithril powder. We're hard of the mountain one. Obviously, we'll get mining speed and put everything in there. And a free 140 mining speed. Now we are up to, wow, those are some good stats 48 mining fortune and 480 mining speed. Okay, so I had my mic muted in this section, so I'm going to just do this with a little voiceover. The wiki said that the fetcher wanted a firework rocket, so I got the firework rocket. I bought the gunpowder from the adventure NPC, and it didn't want it. It said 20 of some stupid material. So I thought, oh, diamonds, or oh, maybe emeralds. I'm going to try both of those. So I went and collected some diamonds and emeralds, and I didn't ask for this, bro. We want something different. Okay, what else could you possibly want, you little rat? Like, I gave you what, you, what I thought you would want. I'd say that th that's a pretty good guess, so I decided to give him some mithril. He said, I'm close, but it's the wrong amount. He asked for 20. I tried to give him 21. I thought he would just take 20 and leave me one, but I had to sort of in a little pile for him. Like he's a little, he's a little, 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 little. I just realized I had my mic muted the entire time. Okay, two out of seven. Grandin and Emor. Hello, puzzler. Nice, nice. And there we go. We're up to almost 53K. Anyway, I feel like this is a fantastic time to wrap up this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, honestly, you're the absolute best. best. And if I saw you in real life, I'd give you a kiss. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll hopefully see you in episode two. I'll get it uploaded as soon as I can, but I'm, I've been very busy in the real world. Uh, so, so it's been tough, but doing my best and, uh, yeah, that should be it. Bye bye.